Hi, welcome to this very special video. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about uh, the course that I'm currently doing for Maths Olympiads. So this is a course that I'm right now doing. We have three live classes per week and this will go on from now till the end of the year when we have the RMO and the IOQM exams. So I have already been talking to my students here and the courses the students are doing really well and we are learning a lot of maths here. I wanted to show you what are the things that we are learning in this course and what are the textbooks that we are using because some students might not be able to join the course. So I will give you some recommendations on textbooks that you should be using for Maths Olympiad preparation for this year. So I know I have made a previous video around three years back with a lot of good book recommendations. Those textbooks are still valid However, I want to show you what we are using for our current course right now so that you get a better understanding of what this course is about, right? So let's get started and we have algebra first and in algebra, we are going to be using the following textbooks. So this is the first one. This is complex numbers from A to Z by Tito Andrescu and Doreen Andrika. This is a very good textbook. It covers a lot of the concepts that you need. So basically it has the algebraic meaning of complex numbers, then it has complex numbers and geometry, applications to trigonometry, and a lot of high level complex numbers applications in geometry, like real product, complex product of two numbers, and so on. And basically it helps you in multiple places in uh, your maths education. So it helps you in algebra, it helps you in geometry, many places. So this is a very good book, lots of high quality Olympiad problems in this book. This is something that we'll be using for the algebra section of our course. Apart from this, the second textbook that we are using is this book. It's called 10 Themes in Algebra for Mathematics Competitions. And this is also by Tito Andrescu and Alessandro Ventulo. Now, what is this book about? Basically, this is a problem book, but it has a very nice organization. So I will show you the contents briefly. So basically, if you can see, this, these are the names of the chapters. Maybe it is not very clear, but the chapters are guided by a few themes that are common in Olympiad algebra, right? The first theme is AX squared plus BX plus C, which is basically a quadratic equation. Then the second section of the book is about inequalities. Third section follows and builds up on that inequalities and tries to show you some problems on inequalities. The fourth section is minima maxima, and after that, there is one section on complex numbers, A plus BI, and a few sections on very commonly used identities like AQ plus BQ plus CQ minus 3ABC, identities and problems that are based on those, right? There is one section on uh, A power 4 plus 4 times B power 4 or Sophie Germain identity that is pretty common in uh, Olympiad problems. And finally, there is a section on polynomials as well. So this is mostly a problem book. You will find a lot of very good questions here. And what I will be doing in our course in the algebra section is going through these questions, going through these problems with the students in a live class. So if you are stuck somewhere, we'll discuss the solutions and we'll try to figure it out. So this is the second book, 10 themes in algebra for mathematics competitions. Then we have a couple of books by an Indian author, B.G. Venkatachala which is very, which are very good books. This is the book on functional equations, a problem solving approach. This is a pretty standard book and very good for functional equations. A lot of problems based on equations on natural numbers, equations on real numbers and so on. And basically Olympiad equations, functional equations, and it should definitely help you a lot if you are working through the problems in this textbook. So this is the third book for algebra. Then we have another book by the same author, B.J. Venkatchala. This is Inequalities. So very comprehensive book, covers a lot of inequalities over the last 50 years of Olympiad problems. And I would recommend this book very highly. Inequalities have lost a little bit of their favor. Like in the last few years, there are fewer and fewer inequality problems. But it is certainly definitely going to help you if you try to solve problems from this book. It increases your mathematical imagination. It teaches you many techniques. It introduces all the inequalities that you will ever need. And this is also something that we'll cover in our course, right? These are the first four books. Then the next book is another algebra textbook. 
And this is slightly advanced, typically at the INMO or the IMO level. And this is the book called Awesome Polynomials for Mathematics Competitions. And this is again by Titu Andrescu, Navid Safai and Alexandro Ventulo. So this book is a slightly advanced book. It has a lot of theory. It has chapters like complex numbers and polynomials, then two chapters on finding polynomials. So there are a lot of tricky polynomial problems which involve a little bit of algebra, a little bit of number theory. And this book covers all of those types of things. So there are actually three chapters. If you see, if you can see this, there are three chapters on finding polynomials. Finding polynomials part two, then part, part two is uniqueness and lemmas. Part three is using roots. And then there is even Lagrange's interpolation formula and Newton's identities. And there are hundreds of problems in this textbook. Obviously, in an eight month course where we have to cover many different topics as well, I will not be able to fully cover this book, but I will try to do as much as possible for my students. So hopefully that will help you a lot. So that is my algebra section for my live course. So five textbooks, awesome polynomials, two books by BJ Venkatachala, which are inequalities, functional equations, and then a couple more books by Titu Andrescu, complex numbers from A to Z, and 10 themes in algebra for mathematics competitions. So that is the algebra section covered. Then we move on to number theory. And for number theory, I, you, I will be using the following three textbooks. There is a two part work by Titu Andrescu and Marian Tetiva. This is introduction to number theory in mathematics contests. It's a very nicely organized book. I really like the way the theory is explained here. It starts off with one chapter on what is number theory, which has some introductory problems. And the second chapter is division theorem and divisibility. Now, in this book, there are only two chapters. If you see, there are only two chapters, but each chapter has a lot of sections. And in the first part, this is the first part of the book. This covers Euclidean algorithm, Bizot's lemma, Gauss's lemma, a little bit of prime numbers, Bertrand's postulate, and that's it. A theorem of Legendre, and that's it. But just because the number of topics is less in this textbook, doesn't mean that the book is not very useful. It has a lot of problems which are taken from actual Olympiad problems, and that is useful at a very good collection of problems in this book. So I will be using this as part of my course in number theory when we get to number theory. The second part of this book is also available. This is introduction to number theory. This is part two, book two, and this is slightly more advanced. So this might be at the INMO or the team selection test level or the IMO level. So this book starts off with an initial problem set, then goes into classic congruences, Chinese remainder theorem, Euler format and Wilson's congruences, and then general polynomial congruences. And it even covers Lucas's theorem, Lagrange's theorem. And at the end, there is a section on Hensel's lemma as well. So we might not be able to cover everything till Hensel's lemma, but definitely this book is slightly more advanced and will help you learn whatever you need for number theory in maths competitions. So these two books I highly recommend, and these are the two books that I will be following for number theory. The third book that I will be using is this collection of problems. These are 1001 problems in classical number theory. This is by Jean-Marie de Conning, and this is a French writer, but it's a collection of problems with solutions. All the problems are arranged according to their topic. So there is a chapter on divisibility. There is a chapter on prime numbers arithmetical functions, special numbers. So very comprehensive. There are 1001 problems and it definitely helps you revise all of the concepts that you need for number theory. So these three books for number theory, 1001 problems in classical number theory, introduction to number theory for math contest, book one and book two. So these are the three books that I'll be using for number theory in our course. Okay. Next, moving on to combinatorics. I have a couple of book recommendations here. I have already recommended this book in the past. This is a very standard and very good textbook, Principles and Techniques in Combinatorics by Chen Chuan Chong and Ko He Meng. These are Vietnamese or Chinese guys. And this is a really nice textbook. It starts from the very basics 
it starts off with addition and multiplication principle, permutation and combinations. The second chapter is binomial coefficients and multinomial coefficients. The third chapter becomes a little advanced. It is pigeonhole principle Ramsey numbers. And the fourth chapter is principle of inclusion and exclusion. Then there is generating functions and then there is recurrence relations. I have already made a course on combinatorics on Udemy and that takes in some of the material from this book to build the course. So you should check that course out or you can attend the live classes here and you will be part of the learning as we cover this textbook. The other book that is very new and very nice is an exploration of Olympiad combinatorics by Rushil Mathur. Now Rushil Mathur is actually a Indian team member. So he was a member of the Indian team for the Mass Olympiad and he's a He's done a really nice job here. He has uh, created this book with a lot of focus on graph theory, some advanced topics that are important from Olympiad, international Olympiad perspective, like processes, expected value, things like greedy algorithms and extremal principle. So this book is not a theory book. This is a book that covers the problem solving techniques that are sometimes missing from standard theory books. So this is a standard theory book and this is more like a problem solving exploration. So both of them together are enough for preparation for IOQM and RMO and even INMO. So that is what I'll be following for combinatorics. And now we come to geometry, which is one of my favorite sections. And for this, I have been using, we have already started the course. So I have been using trigonometry from this book, 119 trigonometry problems for mathematics competition. This is T2 Andrescu and Alessandro Ventulo. Again, this is trigonometry, purely trigonometry, but it covers a lot of geometry. So it relates trigonometry to triangles, obviously, and it covers a lot of things that you will not usually see. And the problems are really good and really interesting. So I have already covered quite a bit of this book in my course so far. If you want to join the course, you can actually access the recordings already. The recordings are available on YouTube for the first few sessions and you should check them out. Otherwise you can join the course and be part of it. This is for trigonometry. Now next we have a couple of very old but very classic textbooks that are very good for Olympiad geometry. One of them is this College Geometry by Nathan Altschiller Court. This book is something that I had recommended earlier as well. And this book is very advanced, but some of the chapters in this book are useful for you when you are preparing for RMO or INMO. So I will be taking a selection of chapters from this book. Obviously, we will not be covering the whole book. Another book of that quality is this one. So this is Advanced Euclidean Ge Geometry by Roger Johnson. This is another similar book. I will not be covering the whole of it, but I will definitely be doing some chapters from these books because these are really nice textbooks with a lot of theorems and proofs that you don't really see in other books. So earlier I had recommended Evan Chen's Euclidean Geometry in Maths Olympiads. That is a very nice book, but not as comprehensive as these textbooks that we have here. So I would recommend these for anyone who is preparing it seriously. Then there is another book that I really like. This is called The Secrets of Triangles by Alfred Posamentier. So this book is not technically for Maths Olympiad, it is for someone who is curious about learning more on geometry. And it has a lot of in, insanely good theorems, constructions, special points, special lines in a triangle. And if you are curious about geometry, you should definitely check out this book. It helps you understand triangle geometry and appreciate the beauty of geometry so much more. So again, I'll not be following this fully and completely because it is too much. It is actually too much for Olympiad preparation. But I will be taking some tidbits from this book and using some of the problems that are mentioned here as part of the course in geometry. Then finally, two other textbooks that I would love to recommend and I will be using extensively for this book is first of all, this one. This is Awesome Angles for Mathematics Competition. Basically, this whole book is about angle chasing. So that is a very important technique that all students who are preparing for Maths Olympiads must be aware of. Angle chasing is super important in any geometry problem. And this is by T2 Andrescu and Navid Safai again. And this book covers basically angle chasing in all of the different situations that you will encounter in Maths Olympiads. 
So it has basically just two chapters and a lot of problems. The first chapter is angles in the plane, angles and collinear points, angles in congruent triangles, then angles and inequalities, and then some extensions. So basically you are seeing how the book is uh, book is designed towards giving you a problem solving flavor, right? The second chapter is classic geometrical tools where he talks about angles and quadrilaterals, angles in similar triangles, angles in circles, angles in cyclic quadrilaterals. And then the book ends with a collection of problems in geometry, which are solved primarily by using angle chasing. So this is something that I will try to incorporate a lot in our course, in our live course, because this is something that is especially valuable for someone who is preparing for an Olympiad. So that is one book. And another book is this one, very small book, Introduction to Olympiad Geometry by Voldemort Pompey. This is a tiny book, but it has actually a lot of advanced techniques. So this is a problem solving book, which is based on techniques. It is not based on theory so much. And it uses very limited theory, but shows you the different ways in, in which you can apply the theory and learn different techniques of problem solving. So the chapters here are triangle inequality, rotations of 60 and 90 degrees. So basically rotations of figures. Then there is folding. Then there is congruent triangles. Then he talks about arcs in a circle, parallelograms. Then another chapter is about spotting a circle. So given a complicated figure, can you spot four points with a which are cyclic? And you can spot a circle and then the problem becomes easier, right? Then finally, there is a chapter on touching segments. So the book is about problem solving techniques and examples of those techniques. And again, this is something that I will be doing in my live course. So that is a rough idea of what this eight, nine month course is all about. We are currently doing nine. Uh, we are currently in session eight or nine. We have finished. We have done the trigonometry basics that we needed. And we are going to start with geometry soon. So if you want to join the course, the way to join the course will be mentioned in the description of this video. All you have to do is to buy one of my Udemy courses. I have four Udemy courses available. And these are Math Olympiad Masterclass, which is a bestseller. Then there is an algebra course. Then there is a combinatorics course and a basic number theory course. These four courses are currently live on Udemy and there is a sale going on. You can check it out. It will be available for less than 500 or 700 rupees. So once you buy the course, what you have to do is message me on WhatsApp. My phone number is in the description of this video. And once you have messaged me, I will add you to the group for the course. Once you join the course, you will be having access to all of these live sessions. You can join and discuss all of these live classes. And we'll cover all of these topics and these textbooks that I mentioned today over the next seven or eight months. My plan is to make sure that out of my group of students, like 80-90% of them can clear RMO. So RMO is definitely achievable if we work from now. It is January right now. RMO will be in November. And 7-8 months is enough time to prepare yourself thoroughly and be exceptional and be able to clear this exam. So hopefully you will understand what I am trying to do. There is no price to the classes. So basically the entire live classes for eight months, three classes per week will be free for you. The only cost is you have to buy the one of my courses on Udemy and then you can join the classes. What I expect from my students is basically attend the classes, do the homework. And if you are able to do that, I'm guaranteeing that you will be able to improve a lot and maths will become super strong for you. So that's about it for this video. Check out the description in order to learn how to join the course. It is pretty obvious. I have all the links available in the description and I will see you in class. I hope the book recommendations help you anyway. Even if you're not part of my course, you should use these textbooks to learn, right? So that's it for this video. I'll see you next time and happy learning.